Hello everyone, Jerry Ruiz here coming to you with another video and today I'm talking about MagSafe. Well, I guess the lack thereof MagSafe ports on the new MacBook. As you can see, I already have a problem dealing without MagSafe. Check it out. So, you know, ever since the new MacBook, just MacBook, MacBook, we are left with only USB-C or Thunderbolt 3 ports on all of our MacBooks. Now, this is the MacBook Pro, this is the new 2018 model. We have two USB-C ports on the left side, two USB-C ports on the right side, and then a headphone jack, which is nice. They, at least they left the headphone jack on it for us. But what we can do is, since this does have four, we can replace one of these with a proprietary port. Well, I guess you could say we could fill it with a MagSafe. That's where this product comes in. This is a Type-C magnet cable. And what's great about this is you can just plug it in and forget about it. At least that's the idea. Let's check it out. Okay, so the first thing to look at is actually the box itself. Now, it's pretty nondescript. It just says Type-C magnet cable for MacBook, um, magnetic connection, and it goes up to 87 watts and 4.3 amps, which is as big as those charges go for the MacBook. The large one for the MacBook Pro 15 is 87 watts, and the one that comes with my 13 is that 61 watt device. So this cable and this charger is supposed to give you the full charge, which is actually really nice. 200 centimeter length, um, and there you go, just a few more looks, uh, fully reversible, which means you can go swap it around, but actually let's open it up and uh, see what we got. Nope, oh, this side. Pull it out. Okay, nothing else in the box, just the cable. Has a nice little wrap so you can unwrap it, but nice, actually feels pretty premium with this uh, nylon uh, covering, so braided nylon so it won't be, you know, chafed or anything, which is nice. Our USB-C end, this one would go into the charger here, just your regular MacBook charger. We'll look at that in a second. All right, so there you go. This is the business end right here. This is the end that's gonna go in your MacBook. See, it's only gonna stick out. Looks like about an eighth of an inch, which should be no problem on most, uh, you know, cases and things where you're, that you're gonna put your MacBook in, but check this out. Even from that far away, it feels the pull and goes right to where it's supposed to be. And it's pretty solid. It seems to be made pretty quality because there's no movement once it's on there and it goes right in, no matter which way you do it. So it is reversible, like they said. You can flip it around. So let's get it into the computer. Okay, so first thing we have to do is actually pick what port we're gonna use it on. Just like the, you know, the old MacBooks, I think I'm gonna use the upper left-hand side port because that's where the old MagSafe used to be and it just feels right to me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little end off here. Like I said, it's pretty slim, but all I'm gonna do is just Slide this baby on here, clips in. I don't know if you heard that clip, but it clips in rather easily. And like I said, it's pretty slim on the side. It doesn't stick out that much, and I think I can deal with it because I always kind of leave things hanging out. I always used to have, you know, other SD cards or other USBs always in my computer, so I don't think this is going to hurt me any. And it's solid, and it clips in. And you know, let's we'll see if I can actually pull it back out without a tool. And doesn't seem like it. I'm gonna have to get like a little screwdriver to pull it out if I ever want to pull it out, but it's not meant to. It's meant to stay. And plug it in to see if we actually get any charging. Oh, I think I heard it. I think I heard the charging nubbin go on. Yes, there we go. We are actually charging. I'm gonna have to test it out to actually see if it's gonna charge at the rate it said, but I don't see any problems so far. All right, let's try it again. Yep, charges right away, no problem. Pull it back off, no charge. Charge, and let's try to flip it around. Yep, it all seems to be working pretty well. It is kind of finicky, it does kind of slip off a little easier than I would like, but I think that's the idea. You wanna be able to actually, you know, have this disconnect if you ever do kick the wire so your expensive computer doesn't go flying across the room.
Okay, so that's it. I connected it together and it does seem to work rather well. I left it charging for a little while and it does seem to be giving me the same rate of charging as just using the regular cable with the regular, you know, charger. But I have, that's the 61 watt charger. I don't have the 87 watt watch charger to, to check it out, but I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. I did try to see if it would carry um, data across just to try. So I tried out my SanDisk 500 gig uh, fast SSD link to this video right up here because I love this thing. But uh, no, it did not carry data, but it's not really supposed to. It's meant to stay in there and it's meant to be used whenever you want. Now I'm just going to leave this at home because I'm not going to take that kind of you know cable away with me anywhere because I don't think it really makes that much sense. But I have three other open ports on the machine and I feel like I, I haven't used four all together. I'm not connecting many monitors or anything, but I think it's going to work out well. Uh, I'm going to link down below to where you can have this. Like I said, it's like $20 or so on Amazon. It, I don't think it's prime, but I got it just fine, got it quick, and it does seem to work. It is a little finicky with like the magnet. It's not super strong, but like I said, if you don't want to be plug, unplugging and plugging in USB-C chargers, chargers and ruining the internal port, I think it's a good option, especially for home. All right, it's been Joey Race. See you later.